I was just thinking that um, it's good to remember uh, that you don't have to do it, you know. <laughs> and, uh, you know, whatever it is you're doing, even if the BBC are here, <laughs> and because uh, um, everybody's free, uh, including me. But, uh, but I think a lot of the time, a lot of time I don't feel free, and, um, and I feel like, Oh, I was thinking it's amazing how people do. Most people actually do what they said they were going to do, you know. And uh, I think that's an amazing thing, how many people do that. <laughs> uh, um, and why, you know. Um, but I've got a feeling, I suppose... Um, it's just, it's a weird starting. I don't like starting, you know, because um, it's too definite, you know. <laughs> it's like now, because, you know, now this is it. You know, this is it. This is what the, this is what, you know, this is whatever it was going to be. But I don't know what it was going to be, but it, or what it was supposed to be. That's the th I mean, that's the thing to do something like this. You have to make plans, you know. I brought equipment and, <laughs> you know, and there's microphones and lights. But to do that, you have to kind of, you have to have an idea about what you're doing. You know, and I don't. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, because I don't know what I want. And, um, and, so, and maybe, but to plan this, I did. I pretended I had an idea about what I was doing, <laughs> you know. And that's... Uh, and I think that's, I think life's like that. You have to, pre, you know, you have to sort of pretend that you know in advance how you're going to feel, even though you can't know, you know. And, <laughs> and, uh, and it's too, and it's difficult to, and so you can't, it's difficult to draw lines, you know, and this is a, um, between things, you know. Because I just think that everything's mixed up together. And so, if you do, if you tr if you try to separate things, in uh, uh, that's always gonna that's all you know. Like anything that's deaf, I feel like anything that separated off is sort of against life, you know, because life's all mixed up together. And so, um, and so, anyway, I don't. I, this isn't really leading up to. I'm not. There's no. Po I don't have a point to make. But other than that, because I didn't really think it through, <laughs> but I don't want to, um, you know. But I don't know. I don't know what to say. You know, there's too, there's too, there's too, there's too many words. You know, there's too many words, and or or, um, or there's not enough words, and, the, and there's too many feelings. I think I think maybe that's more the problem is that there's too many feelings and not enough words, or. Um, or that 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 that, um, that feelings don't speak in words, you know. But I feel that feel or or I'm not sure if I feel or think that feelings rule my life. I think I think that I feel that because it's hard to talk about feelings without using feelings, you know, <laughs> you know, and um, so and uh, so. Uh, I, because, it, it, and, um, it's difficult to, I think that, you know, I feel that feelings rule, I think or feel that feelings rule my life, and I don't, and I don't know, and, um, and I think that, uh, I'm going to stop this. I'm going to, I'm going to stop it there, because I think that, um, that is the primary, you know, feeling that I have in my life. You know, and it's just like, oh no, <laughs> oh, oh no, and I've, you know, and I've got to do this because I said I would, and I don't want to be rude. You know, I think politeness has got a lot to do with it. You know. And I mean, I don't know if it's more like, so the feeling, you know, you know, you feel, I think often you feel no, but you say yes, 
you know, because you feel guilty about feeling no. So you run from it, you know, <laughs> to, and, and you run to yes, you know, because that's the only other place there is, unless there's one in between that. But uh, I don't know. But I think that, um, you know, I think I, I know that I feel bad a lot of the time. Uh, but I don't know how I know that because I don't think feelings speak in words, you know. And so, um, but I still, th- I, I feel like I do know it. You know, I feel it strongly, but I think it's a, it's a I don't know. You know, I think that um, f- feelings are, you know, like li- living with your feelings is almost like living. I feel like it's like living with someone. It's like living with someone that's telling you what to do all the time but it doesn't speak the same language, you know, or in that, or maybe it's more like uh, being a hostage uh, and you're being interrogated. You know that thing that people say when, the, 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 when, when people are being interrogated and often they'll make a, con, you know, they'll make a confession because they'll try and tell the interrogator what it is they want to hear. You know, and I, I feel often, I often feel that with, um, or think that, that, you know, it's like I'm telling my feelings. I'm, I'm trying to tell them what they want to hear, you know, to placate to them. <laughs> and, um, you know, and it's almost like you're, and, 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 and it's, because um, I think it, because, you know, I think it's easy to understand why, 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 you know, you might try to be polite to other people. You know, I want to be polite to you because you, because I want you to like me. And uh, and I don't and and I and I'm not and I'm and I don't want to and I don't want you to hit me, you know, <laughs> and uh, and but and I think that's quite easy to understand, you know. But what I think is more difficult to understand is what is is how you might be polite to yourself, you know, inside yourself, you know, because I think if a horrible feeling comes up, there'd be you know I feel like there's a tendency to, you know, run away from it, you know, and I think that can happen. Um, in 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 your head, you know, but without you really knowing it's happening, it's more because I think it's a bit like, you know, I think it's a bit like if you're walking along the street and you see a fight and you you'd you'd have a tendency to just immediately cross the road. You wouldn't even think about it. You know, it's a matter of self-preservation. You know, but if there's a guy with a knife, you know, in your head, you you would also you know probably cross the street in your head, but you might not you know. But you you, you, you do. But because it's kind of happening inside, you don't necessarily know you're doing it. You know, and I feel like it's a lot. I can get like that. But um, I think I often have this feeling that I've come that I just got back from a party in my head, you know, and that I met I met myself at the party, <laughs> and uh, I got talking. To, I got to, we get talking and um, and. Uh, uh, and I didn't like, I didn't like what I was saying. You know, I didn't like it at all. You know, but I just smiled and went along with it. You know? <laughs> and then, then, and, and then, uh, I, the first chance I got, I, I left the party. You know, and um, and when I got home, I was just like, "You fucking dick! That guy's a dick!" And uh, wh- and why can't I be honest with him? You know, why can't I tell why I'm a coward? Because why can't I tell him, you know, how I'd really feel? And uh, and that's, I think that is the way I often feel. But, um, but I think that, um, uh, I want to be true, you know, I, one of the feelings I hate, I think, is uh, 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 is the feeling of being fake, you know, and I really don't want to be fake because it feels horrible to be fake, keeping up, uh, you know, keeping up some, some sort of front, you know, and um, I'm trying not to be fake now, but um, but I think it's not that easy because if you want to try to be true to yourself then but if you're kind of in a way if you're always in a way hiding from yourself you know it's kind of hard to be true you know but um (sighs) 
I think, uh, I remember what, um, this guy said to me once, um, he gave me some advice, and he said, uh, if you don't know what to say, don't say anything. And I've always thought that was a good bit of advice. Say no, yeah, 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 yeah. I know I can't say no, yeah, 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 yeah. I know I can't say no, yeah, no, yeah, no. I know I can't say no, yeah, 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 yeah. I know I can't say no, yeah, no, yeah, no. I know I can't. say no to you yeah i don't know what to do because i can't say no to you yeah no yeah no i know i can't say no to you yeah i don't know what to do because i can't say no to you yeah no i know i can't say no yeah 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 I wish I didn't know things. 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 It does my head in. It does my head in. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Everything is moving. Everything is moving. Everything is moving. Everything is moving. Everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. Yeah, everything. And this is no exception. This is no exception. This is no exception. This is no exception. And neither is this. 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 And so are we. And so are we. And so are we. And so are we. Yeah, we are. Because even if you're sitting still, you know, you're still moving. Uh, you know, because you, you know, if you're alive, you're moving. That's the thing. I think anything that's fixed is dead, you know. And that's the trouble with fixed things in the world, you know. That's the trouble with words is that they're fixed, you know, and they can't, and they can, it's always going to be an approximation, you know. And the more I talk, the more I feel I have to throw more words out there, you know, to make up for the ones that went before. But and I think music, you know, mu words, putting words and music together is difficult. It's like feelings and, th and thoughts, you know. I think that uh, music's a lot like feelings, you know. It's kind of, can be, can take over your whole body, you know. <laughs> and um, and it's, it's weird because it's not clear what it, how it is. I think with music, it's not clear how it works. It's not clear to me, you know. But uh, where, and whereas words appear to have a meaning, you know, and then so that's more... Uh, that that uh, then it, it feels like it's more easy to grasp, um, but putting the two together feels weird, and um, I don't know how to do it. You know, um, 
Because if you, because I, I, I feel like if I go by my feelings, you know, I don't, I don't really trust my feelings, you know. I don't trust my feelings because I feel like I don't really know what I'm doing inside me, you know. And I might be running away, I might be kidding myself, I might be I'm not quite sure what's going on, and so I don't really trust. I th- also, because I think that feelings are prejudiced, you know. <laughs> They're prejudiced. It's the, you know, I think it's the definition of prejudice that you do things without, you know, shit, I'm going to say without, uh, with, oh, fucking hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the definition of prejudice, you know, that, you, that, that they don't, it's not, you don't think, you know, it's not um, thought about in advance. It's not prejudged, you know, and, uh, and I think feelings are like that. They're prejudiced. And, and so if you're, and, and whereas you up, if your feelings are down here, you know, you've got prejudice there. And then and you're, you're there and you're kind of caught between, and politeness is up here, you know, and you're caught between politeness and prejudice. I feel like it's a, you know, and I think that in your feelings just keep coming up, you know, and I don't know where they come from, but they definitely don't think, you know. And, um, and so I think it's natural to kind of not to, you know, to be a bit um, worried about your feelings, you know. <laughs> it's like a phantom, you know. Um, so I thought, so, and, and so trying to put, and I, I feel like that about, you know, words and music, you know, you can't, I think that it's not, like, I, so I, I, I thought, I, I, I wanted to try and write a song about my feelings, you know, and try and be true to my feelings, and I, th- and I didn't, so, but I, I, um, I thought, but if I don't trust my feelings, then how can I, you know, uh, write about them? But then I had the idea that maybe I could trick myself and write, if I wrote down the exact opposite of the way that I was feeling, then maybe that would be, you know, closer to the way that I was really feeling. how close I got to my feelings, you know, really. <laughs> uh, but so I, try, I thought I'd try to write a song where, uh, to try and put music and words together. And um, I was trying to say, you know, I feel like it's difficult to put them together. I don't really know how they fit together. You know, just put a random chord with some words, you know, and which chord, you know, I don't know. So, but I tried to uh, write a song where the words and the music are exactly matched up. <laughs> B B B sharp B flat B 
I got myself into a mind trap And now I'm looking for a mind trap map I got myself into a mind trap And now I'm looking for a mind trap map I can't get out of this mind crap I'm looking for a mind crap gap Left and right and up Down and up myself into a mind trap and now I'm looking for a mind trap map I can't get out of this mind crap I'm looking for a mind crap gap yeah I don't know I think I'm I, I feel I'm thinking too much you know and I think, but I, I think thinking's easy, you know. And uh, that's, uh, I mean, like thinking's like trying to control things, you know. It's like trying to, you know, the fe feelings, uh, feelings are the difficult thing. I think that's out of control, you know. And so you're trying to control it with thoughts and, you know, things like that. Don't know. I, I wanted to. That's the thing. I think that um, you know. I think it's good to. I think it can help to talk. You know, it can help to talk. You're stuck in your. You're stuck in your head. You know, you can't stop thinking. <laughs> and you're. It's like you're a pressure cooker. You know, and feelings are coming up, and it's. You know, it's a, pr it's, a cr it's a pressure cooker with the gas on all the time, and, you know, you need to find, th you got to do, you got to, I think it can help to talk, you know, it can help to be with other people, it can help to, um, you know, do whatever, move your body around, you know, <laughs> and uh, it can help to go to the toilet. That releases pressure. <laughs> and, uh, but talking's, you know, much cleaner than shit. And then, um, and, uh, but you know, that's the problem with feelings, you know, is, is that they don't smell, you know, and because um, in a way, you know, at least you can clear shit up because, you know, it smells and it's got a colour, you know, I think the exact problems with feelings is, exa is exactly that they're, is that they're invisible, you know, it's like a weird, you know, religious thing, you know. You can't do, you can't, it's inside you, so you get, what can you do? Attack yourself, you know. 
FM. I think it can help to communicate with other people, you know, but I wish I just wish that I knew how communication worked, you know. And uh, cuz I think it does work, it can work. Um and I think I think definitely there's been a couple of times in my life that I've you know, I felt I, like I was being communicated with. Um <laughs> But I think, but I, but I, I just wish that I knew how it worked, because I'd lo- I'd love to be able to communicate, you know, because I don't think it's di- I don't think it's direct, you know, because it depends, you know, it depends who you are, you know, everyone everyone's different, everyone's got their own feelings and words, you know, that you, I don't think what, you know, I think you know people often say that body language is, body language speaks, you know, is is, is much more um, easy to in a way it's much more clear the way someone's feeling from their body language or their demeanour. You know, than actually the words they're using, and it's just it's more the way they're saying them, and I think that's can, that can be very true. But um, I don't think that um, uh, it's clear, and I think that you know it's like the world. It's a, it's it's like a I think communication is like a weird thing that's all that's kind of to do with a lot of things combined. You know, and I I think in a way it's more like. It doesn't work direct. It's not like words have a meaning and they get transferred. I don't think communication's like that. It's not like this here, you know, I give to you there or you give that to me and that's like, commu- I think it's more like a weird thing between everyone. And I think it's more like, um, I think it works maybe more like rhyming, you know, the way two words rhyme. So people are like different words and then, um, you know, if you find one you rhyme with, you know, that's like a, that's like a, that's the way communication works. I think, I saw, like I look over there and see, I think there's a guy there, I, you know, I'm like him, you know, and um, and it's like that, you know, or it's like the, I think, it's, I, I, I feel like it's like um, if you're in the car on the motorway, sometimes there's a train track next to the motorway and you can, sometimes there's a train on the track and Sometimes it's going in the same direction as you are in your car, and um, sometimes you can see people in the train, and, and and you can even wave at them, you know, and they can wave at you, and you're going to maybe at slightly different speeds, you know, like that, and um, and I think that's how communication works. But it's in, and you can you can really, it's definitely happening, but it's not. But you can never get to the other side, you know. There's no you can you could never get on the train, you know. And the people on the train could never get into your car, you know. Although think, thinking about that, actually, you know, it would be possible to get on the train. It's just that it would be extremely dangerous. <laughs> but I, um, I think that... Um, a lot of people, a lot of people say that communication, or that they that they communicate much more directly when they're having an argument, you know, or a fight. Um, and I think that's true, you know, and uh, you know, because it kind of like you let go and your feelings come out, and you, there's a more can be a more direct relationship between feelings and words, you know, when you're angry and just not thinking as much, you know. I think it would be great to not think as much, you know. But I think the problem with, you know, if your goal is not to think, you know, I think the problem with that is that you'll never know if you've achieved your goal. (laughs) (laughs) But I I tried to write a song about an argument I had. This this song's based on an actual argument I had. It was um, was actually two different arguments. One was with a man and one was with a woman. And uh, and I was thinking about these arguments, but I was also thinking about this time in the park that um, when I was a kid, uh, I saw two dogs fighting, and the two dogs had their jaws like clamped. Or each dog had its jaws clamped around the neck of the other dog, like that. So it was like a weird, you know, like kiss or something. You know, and they wouldn't let go of these dogs for a long time. You know, it must have been about 10 or 15 minutes. And the, and there was a guy with a stick trying to separate them. And uh, and I don't know what happened because we went away because it was horrible. 
Uh, but I just, it came back to me recently and I, I thought, I was thinking about it and I was thinking, oh yeah, but uh, I wonder what did happen. And, and surely if the guy actually had succeeded in separating the dogs, then they would have just bled to death, you know? Because they, you know, they had to stay fighting to stay alive. Yeah, I was thinking about that and I was also thinking about... Um, that thing that boxers do, you know the thing that boxers do when they hug each other and, um, you know, to get away from each other? <laughs> <laughs> we are bitten down and clamped on, we won't let go, we're joined like dogs, we're bitten down and clamped on we won't let go we're joined like dogs i'm understanding i'm understanding i'm understanding i'm understanding listening i'm listening i'm listening i'm listening Understanding, I'm understanding, I'm understanding, I'm understanding. We were arguing, and you were saying I'm a victim, and I was saying I'm a victim, and you were saying I'm a victim. It was as if you were really saying. What it felt like you were saying Quotation marks Quotation marks You were saying I was saying I'm a victim No, I'm a victim I'm a victim No, I'm a victim No, I'm a victim No, I'm a victim I'm a victim, no, I'm a victim, no, I'm a victim, no, I'm a victim. Understanding, I'm understanding, I'm understanding, I'm understanding. Listening, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. nearly lost it in this costume <laughs> but I made these I made I made this I made these trousers because I couldn't decide what to wear and then, so but you know the you know the, the problem with trousers I think is that um you know the the the, the central bit there uh, is um oh It's very, um, it's dangerous. <laughs> there should have been a fucking soft bit of fabric in that, don't you think? <laughs> At least yellow and black tape. <laughs> no, what the fuck? But, um, <sighs> but hey, I can't remember what I was saying then. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> but, um, so I got, I got, uh, because you know the centre of a pair of trousers is trying to do an impossible thing because it's it's got to, you know, it's got to kind of operate in kind of all directions, you know, at once. You know, you have to, and then the thing is, you have to be able to sit down, stand up, and when you sit down, they're tighter and shorter, you know. When you stand up, they're bigger and longer. And there's, so there's a lot of things happening. And then there's the fact that, you know, in that central bit where all the stress goes on, that you need access. <laughs> and also, that's where, you know, the liquid is as well. And so there's the wet patch, the access, you know, 
and then the movement in all directions. And so I thought, so I got a piece of material and I, I got a piece of material and I kind of just wound it around <laughs> with buttons and stuff holding it up. And then I just collected all the loose material here so that then, you know, so, so then, and then, and then I feel it's better because when you go to the toilet, you know, after you go, to you, that just kind of hangs there, you know, kind of covering up. And then, but I had to make a top as well because it, they, they kept falling down. <laughs> and then, so then, and, and they are, and, they're, and they're, I'm trying, I'm, I'm trying to make them sound functional, but it actually takes quite a long time to put them on. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so I, but I want to work on it. I want I want to work on it more. Uh, that's the thing. You know, decide. That's why there's all different buttons, so you can. There's different buttons. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, there's different buttons, so you can, you can, you know, you see, you can adjust them and stuff like that. I feel like any, you know, deciding anything, for certain, is very, very difficult, and, you know, drawing lines is separating things you know like drawing a line is like always dividing things into two it's like yes on one side and no on the other you know and uh you know it's like and I, I feel oh, you know if you go and that's the same when you go somewhere you know you like here like to come but there's always that's the thing about just choosing things is that there's always a lot you know there's always a lot more that you haven't chosen than what you have <laughs> chosen so it's a terrible terrible thing you know and here we are in this little room, you know, and there's a massive, well, it's quite a reasonably big city uh, outside, you know. And I, I always feel, I feel that, you know, when you're, when you're deciding to go somewhere, you know. I thought to try to, um, I don't know what to do. But um, I don't know what to do. <laughs> but that's yeah, you know. I suppose I don't know what to do, so I'm, I'm just kind of like drawing <laughs> all over the paper. And that's the thing, I feel like, you know, you know, because sometimes words are, you know, sometimes, you know, you know, it's sometimes words aren't, uh, you know, I feel like, well, there's, you know, words are never good enough, you know. And um, so it's good to try other things, you know. But I feel like with lines, it's a terrible, it's a terrible business as well, you know. So it's just too good to put more lines there. So maybe one of them will be okay. You know, I'm just going to save that. <laughs> Hi, but um, oh, I don't know what to do. Oh yeah, I was putting on the mic harmonica. If you're feeling bad and your thoughts are sad, pass them on to someone else. <laughs>
to someone else like a friend or a relative like a friend or a relative like a friend Maybe I want to do a song for a friend. Um, but I thought I could try and do this. Uh, I was thinking, you know, of trying to come up with a combination of the words yes and no, you know. Because I, I was thinking, you know, if you don't know what to do, you know, the, be the best thing would be to have a kind of like a perfect word that meant yes and no. And I don't mean maybe, you know. And I, anyway, I, but I, I came up with this shape. I came up, I'm not, so I'm not. <laughs> Aye. That's quite a scraggy version. I don't know if you can see what that is, but it's a, it's a cross. <laughs> and <laughs> um, you can tell because the, the shape is, you know, about the black and the white represent the different <laughs> parts of the screen. It shows you the shape. <laughs> but, uh, but it's like it's a cross and I was thinking that's per you know, I, I've I, I've started signing emails with a little kiss, you know. And um and I like that because I was thinking it's it's brilliant because it because it you know because it means kiss but it also means wrong. You know? <laughs> so you know it's like, so if you sign like that it's like well you know it's a kiss but it also it means like wrong. And then I like that, but also because a kiss isn't necessarily good. But um, I wanted to. I. Ah. But I feel like I've been quite negative tonight, <laughs> and uh, you know I think. But I think it's easier to talk about difficult things because in a way that's what. I feel like that's a driving force, you know, that you're, you know, if you feel bad, that's what makes you do things, you know, I think that's what, you know, if, if you feel good, that's, that'd be, you try to keep things as they are, you know, so I think that usually that's the reason to go out and do, try to do things, you know, if you feel bad, and, um, yeah. but this is bad, this is, and, but this is bad in a, you know, in a different way, and because uh, these people, they couldn't be here tonight because um, they're behind that fence. And uh, and I, I, I was, uh, and I don't know what to, I've been trying to think a lot about the, um, the, uh, the refugees and the people, uh, you know, uh, um, and anyone, anyone who, who doesn't ha have any, anywhere to live, anyone who's desperate, you know, and I think there's a lot of refugees, and I think they're all different kinds of refugees. Um, you know, I mean, some already in Britain is what I mean, you know. <laughs> like, uh, you know, homeless people are refugees. And, uh, but so, and, but, and there's always a refugee crisis, I think, and that is that. But a couple of years ago, at the time of the, you know, official refugee crisis, it got called that. You know, even though it's still and always has been going on, uh, I, I started thinking about. I, I just started thinking. I just started feeling like a wanker, you know, that I um, caught up in my little, um, all with my little ideas, you know, in my little room, in my little and um, uh, going around, you know, 
doing my little things. And uh, and um, I just started feeling bad about the and guilty, I suppose, about um, living in a nice place, you know, when, when people can't uh, live and uh, don't have a home. But um, And so I, I tried to write some uh, songs about it. But I think that... Um, I find it difficult to talk about it because it's just a, it's just a terrible thing. But um, I think that the the I think that bo- the problem with borders is that they're, you know, is that they're um, they're it's a de- it's a definite they're definite you know, and that and anything that's definite and certain and fixed is against life, you know, because anything that's alive is changing all the time, you know, and it's because, and, and so the, the definition of something that's dead is something that doesn't move, you know, and, um, and, uh, and so, uh, you know, anything that's fixed, whether it's, I, th- I feel like whether it's a word, you know, that sums up a person, <laughs> or uh, anything that's fixed in the world in a way is against life, you know, and it's so, but especially big country borders, you know, that's t- and it's um, it's inhuman, you know, because um, I feel like life's a blobby, you know, it's just a blobby soup, you know, and uh, th- um, and you can't draw lines in soup, you know. And you can try, but it depends on the consistency of the soup, and you know, if it's quite a thick soup, the lines will last for a while but they'll eventually go away. And I think that's going to happen. With, you know, that does happen with country borders. It's not, you know, because people aren't like that. People just want to go freely where they want to go. You know, they don't, you know, the borders are artificial, you know, and um, like that. And uh, It's a border control, it's a border control, it's a border control, it's a border control, it's a border con, it's a border con, it's a border con, it's a border, it's a border, it's a bore, it's a bore, it's a bore, it's a bore, it's a bore. Anyway, uh... I was trying to come up, you know, that's what I came up with. As I, co- I thought, that's a combination of yes and no. That must be what, that's what yo means, doesn't it? And I, and I, uh, I thought that, so I looked it up. I looked it up and uh, it turns out that isn't, it doesn't mean that. It comes from, it's Italian-American and it comes from eo in Italian. And uh, so that's not it. So I, I came up with this. Uh, I thought, um, 
I feel like I made a discovery. <laughs> That's like a perfect combination of yes and no. And then I think that, but I don't, I feel like it's an important discovery, but I don't really know what it means. Uh, I don't know, I just don't know, you know. I don't know, so I thought that I thought in, in order to know, I thought that um, I could try and come up with uh, some questions, you know, a question, one question that I know the answer to, you know. So I tried to think of a question that I know the answer to, and I came up with this. Can you, can you swap mics for this? Are there other people in the world? Yes. I know. Because it's a, it's a, um, it's a dialogue. So it goes on like this. I know. But are there other people in the world? Yes. I know. Ah, oh, fuck. I got confused. <laughs> Shit. Is that what happened to you? I can't be right. Yeah, it's a perfect combination of a low voice and a high voice. I don't know. Yeah. But um, a friend of mine, uh, a friend of mine, she got married last year and I, I, um, I, she asked me if I would do a song at her wedding. And she's a, she, she, she um, is the person that I've known longest in my life, apart from my family. And uh, she's Japanese. And she told me that in Japan, there isn't, there's no, there, they don't have a word for no, you know. And uh, and uh, I was thinking about that, and I uh, I remembered that when I worked in Japan, I remembered, in fact, that you didn't, that when you, that you, you know, you would find, you know, if someone, you, you would, people wouldn't say no to you, but you would find out over a really long period, <laughs> you know, of small increments that they were saying no. And at the end of months, it would build up to that, you know. But then, and then I was thinking about Keiko and trying to, I was trying to write a song about her. I was thinking about her and I was thinking, oh yeah, but she, in fact, Keiko, uh, you don't really know when she's saying yes. She's funny because she would always say this thing. If she said, do you want a cup of tea, Keiko? She would always say, um, I don't mind. I don't mind. <laughs> and uh, I, um, I was thinking about that. And um, it, uh, Keiko said that she learned English, you know, in a really old-fashioned way. So she learned the phrase, I don't mind if I do. You know, as that's for yes. You don't say yes, you say, I don't mind if I do. But also that you um, shorten things. You know, so she shortens, I don't mind if I do, to I don't mind. <laughs> so I tried to write this song about her. Um, but the main fact about her... Uh, Now the main fact about her is, is um, that she doesn't like to walk anywhere. She just likes to take a taxi. She's a friend. She's a girl. She's a woman. She's a bride, but she's not a walker. She's not a walker. She's not a walker. She's not a walker. She's a princess, and she's a taxi girl, and I don't mind. Princess taxi girl. I don't mind Princess Taxi Girl I don't mind If I do She's dead 
diplomatic, she's enigmatic, she's not dramatic, she's telepathic, she's not a stalker and she's not a talker, and she's definitely not a walker. She's a girl, she's a woman, she's a princess, she's a bride, she's a party girl. And she's a taxi girl, princess taxi girl, I don't mind. Princess taxi girl, I don't mind if I do. Princess taxi girl, I don't mind if I do. Over the years, I've been doing them. Um, I've been doing uh, cause I, I try and do different things because I don't know what the best thing to do is, you know. <laughs> when I went to art school, when I was a teenager, I was into, um, I was into music, art, and writing, and uh, psychology, and architecture. And uh, but, in, but but I, I thought if you uh, uh, if you went to art school. Um, that you could just do what you wanted, you know, or that if you at art school you could do the, all those other things, kind, you know, kind of. I don't know if that's really. Yeah, it was kind. Of, it kind of was like that. But I've been working a lot in different in art galleries and places like that that let me that have let me do things. But I wouldn't call. I wouldn't call it art, you know, because I don't know what art is. Um, but um, I, but I, but la um, I've been doing, I've been doing these things with big with the words big, you know, like this, and um, I made this um, two two years ago. Although I didn't make it, <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, but and that's the problem with things like that is that. Um, it's really it's it, it's a it's a dangerous thing because um, people were helping me to do that, you know, and um, can I, you know and, and you know it can ha it can happen, you know that you know you you can you can you know it's easy you can make a phone call and say oh can you make this big, you know, make this big thing out of neon saying understanding, you know, and then but then you know months later suddenly they've made it, you know. And you owe them half a million <laughs> pounds. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, wait, pal, but wait a minute, I didn't really, I don't know if I really meant it exactly like that, you know. But that's the thing, because I've been doing, that is the trouble with doing, if you do, you know, I don't know, I think that um, things can get out of control, you know. Especially if, if people are helping you. Uh, but the, but anyway, this, I made this at the time of. Um, I made this. <laughs> I made this at the time um, uh, of the refugee crisis, and because um, uh, I, 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 I want, I just. <sighs> fuck man, I'm try I don't know what I'm trying to say. I think I'm trying to say that I, I wanted to try and do something that because um, I think I've got a tendency to think too much about things and. Um, and uh, and to go up my own arse, you know, and that's why I go out of the house, and that's why I'm here tonight, you know, is to get is basically to get away from myself, you know, <laughs> and um, that's why I spend time with other people, you know, to save me from from that, and um, um, but so <laughs> I um, I. And I think that, and I think I don't know. I also I feel like now and now I think now I'm starting to feel guilty because I think that I don't know what there's a ten, I've noticed a tendency that often people when, when people speak that it's as if they're they like I feel this I feel like I have to as if I'm trying to justify myself you know 
And I think, and I don't know, and often, I, I've noticed that sometimes if you ask someone a question, they'll, they'll, they'll they, they, you know, certain people will, will kind of almost think that you're attacking them, you know, even if it's a neutral question. And, um, and that's a, it's a funny thing, that, I think that. But I think that I did grow up, people always asking, you know, why? I think pe people are, it's like people always want to know the reasons, you know, it's not good enough. It's not, you know, why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? You know, and it's like that at school. It's like that at art school. It's terribly like that at art school, you know. And I think it's like that in life in general with all the, the, the boxes that have to be ticked and the forms that have to be filled in. Everything has to be explained, you know. But I feel like there's a feeling. I, I feel like, as I'm talking to you now, I feel like that. I need to adjust it, you know, as if I'm guilty of something. And I think it is the f it's to do feelings, you know, feelings that come up that that you're kind of ashamed of or whatever because they're not because it's not you're not in control of them and so and that might you know they might be horrible or they might be nice but they you know you're not really so it's almost like so you're not it's not you're not being attacked by other people you're being attacked by yourself you know um probably just as much as by other people you know being attacked by your own thoughts about yourself and you know your hopes and but um, anyway, so I, so that, you know, so du so during that time of the refugee crisis, I was thinking, oh, yeah, I've got really got to try and get out of my arse. And, um, and so I, I tried to make, um, so, uh, so when, when I get asked to do this thing in New York, yeah, that, that, so that, that's in New York, it's next to the river. When I get asked to do this thing, it's not that far from Ground Zero, uh, the, where the World Trade Center used to be. And um, I was thinking, I've got to, I can't, like, I've, if it's I'm doing a public, work in New York, I've got, it's got to be some kind of uh, peace monument or, you know, like for want of a better way of putting it or, a, or like a war, anti-war thing. And um, and I, I, I thought about that old uh, uh, hippie phrase, you know, peace, love and understanding. Um, and I thought it'd be great to um, do those three words, you know, in this park because the park's really long and thin and it goes next to the river in New York. And uh, and so you could, and I was thinking it'd be brilliant if you walk along and you come across peace and then love and then understanding, you know, these massive neon signs turning around. And it was great and um, everybody loved the idea. And, uh, and then they told me they couldn't afford it and uh, they could only do one of them. And so then I had to choose between peace, love, and understanding, <laughs> and uh, and that was difficult. And and I I, I um, uh, well, peace was the first to go, because I, I, I <laughs> that was relatively easy to get rid of, <laughs> because um, I thought you know life's full of conflict. Of course it is. You know it's a fight to live. You know it's a fight. It's a war to get out of bed in the morning, you know, a war with yourself often. And um, so, that, uh, so, so that was e easy, but love was a wee bit more difficult to, you know, love and understanding. I couldn't really decide about that. But then in, in the end, I thought, oh, yeah, but love, even though it's all powerful, you know, it's um, just like feelings, you know, it can, you know, it can take over your life and... Um, help you to live, but it's not something that can be easily applied to people you don't know, I think. And, and it's certainly it's difficult to love people you don't really even like, you know. So in the end, I thought understanding was more, you know, in a way utilitarian, you know, that you can, you know, you can try to, you can try to understand, you know, it's much, I feel like it's much more difficult to try to love, you know, um, so in the end, it was understanding, and I thought that, um, although, you know, I think, I don't know if you can try to love, but I've been reading this book lately uh, called How to Love, and uh, I was reading this brilliant thing in it, which was a piece of advice that saying um, you should treat the person you love as if they're a guest at all times. And I thought that was a, I thought that was a beautiful idea um, <laughs> ah, I 
feel pressure now because I feel because we're coming to the end, and um, I think it's difficult to end because you know it's <laughs> you know it's like this, like the border control, and um, also because I feel like it needs to have amounted to something, you know, <laughs> and uh, and I feel like there ought to be some sort of a conclusion, you know, but. Um, and I don't think there really is. But maybe I'll try and do, I'll try and do a love song. Oh, no, no, I won't. No, I'll do this. This is like a Christmas song. <laughs> it wasn't meant, it wasn't supposed to be. It just came out like that. It's, I feel like it sounds like that. Uh, it's, it's difficult to do that. <laughs> but it's like, because I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just waving my arms around. <laughs> you know, it's like diving in. I've never been able to dive in. Because, you know, when you're diving, at the moment you're diving, you can't, you know, you can't be really aware of it. It's the same with drum rolls. I never understand that. Uh, so I, yeah, it's like it's a lot like life. That you know, you basically just feel a bit stupid. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, kind of your in your body, you're walking along. You know, but it's not real. You know, but you kind of like you just keep going, thinking, oh yeah, but maybe no one will really. It might look all right. <laughs> getting closer to finishing now. Uh, the conclusion is coming up. And um, and I think, I don't know, I don't, I don't have a conclusion. I'm trying to figure out what to say. But um, I think that um, I hate people that give advice as well, you know. It's like pompous. Almost talking, almost like people, you know, almost like talking's pompous, you know. 
by its nature, you know. But I feel like a good, you know, I don't know what to do, but I feel like a, in a, a good thing to do is kid yourself, you know. Kid yourself that you're great. Kid yourself, kid yourself, kid yourself, just enough to kid yourself. Kid yourself, just enough to let yourself, just enough to like yourself, just enough to love yourself. Kid yourself, just enough to tell yourself, just enough to make yourself, just enough to let yourself love yourself. Kid yourself just enough to let yourself Let yourself just enough to love yourself Love yourself just enough to make yourself Make yourself just enough to kid yourself yeah. All right, uh, I'll just finish with a I was too positive. I, I don't want to. I want to be more true to life than that. What, 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 the, what, the, what, the, what, the fuck, what, the fuck, what, the fuck am I, what, the fuck am I, what, the fuck am I seeing, what, the fuck am I hearing, what, the fuck am I smelling, what, the fuck am I seeing? What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? I can't believe my eyes. What the fuck am I doing? I can't believe my ears. What the fuck am I doing? I can't believe my nose. What the fuck am I doing? I can't believe my mouth. I can't believe, I can't believe, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, What the fuck am I doing? 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 What the fuck am I thinking? What the fuck am I thinking? I can't believe my head. I can't believe my head. And what the fuck am I feeling? What the fuck am I feeling? I can't believe my heart. I can't believe my heart. What the fuck am I going? Where the fuck am I going? I can't believe my feet. I can't believe my feet. What the fuck am I doing? 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 What the fuck am I... Thinking, where the fuck am I g -g 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 going? What the fuck am I f -f 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 feeling? What, 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 the what, the what, the what, the fuck, what the fuck, what the fuck am I, what the fuck am I, what the fuck am I doing? It's been a pleasure being here. Woo! I'm kidding myself, and I hope you are too. Cheers. Woo!